What's up, everyone? It's Turner Fan 77, and I'm here with my daughter, Malia. Hello. And this is another episode of our Out of Theater Thought series. And in this series, we are going to go see Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Man, that's a mouthful for me. <laughs> are you excited to see this? Mm hmm. Well, kind of. Well, I'm not really a big fan of Ant Man, but I'm really a fan of Marvel. So, like, it's kind of in the middle. It's okay. like I'm willing to give it a chance. Well, I've seen it already. I haven't told her what I thought of it, so I wanted to save that for when we, when she sees it, so we can talk about it together. So, with that said, uh, we'll be right back with our thoughts. So, we just got out of seeing Ant Man in the Wasp: Quantumania, and what did you think, Malia? It was better than I thought it was going to be. Like, it wasn't that bad. Okay, tell me what you liked about it. I like her. I like his daughter, Cassie. Yeah, I like. Yeah, I like her. And then. I feel like they didn't show King enough. Like, I feel like he wasn't really, like... I don't know. He just didn't really, like, stand out to me very much. Oh, see, I disagree with you. This is where me and you are going to have a difference. We're going to butt heads here. Like, he, like... Well, no, he stood out, but, like, he wasn't, like... he. I feel like they didn't show him enough where it was, like, he's, like, very, very bad. You know what I mean? Oh, I see what you're saying. I definitely see what you're saying. So, like, I think he was good, but, like, he wasn't, like, shown enough where it was, like, clear that he was... But... I thought it was, it wasn't like, again, I don't really like Ant-Man as like his character. And like, he's not, like, he's no Wanda for me, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but like, I wouldn't say it was terrible. So like, I liked it, but I didn't like it. So it was kind of in the middle. In right? the middle for you? Yeah. Okay. The pros for me was, uh, I love Jonathan Majors as King. We got to see how ferocious he can be. Um, like... Malia said, I almost forgot your name there, sweetie. <laughs> I, got, uh, I always confuse my daughter's name. It happens with old age. Anyway, I loved Cassie Lang. I, I dug her character. I dug her character in the comics, so it was nice to see her translated very well on the big screen. But the thing that stood out for me in this movie was Jonathan Majors. I'm excited to see what, ha what they have in store for the king. Is it King? I think it's King Dynasty? In Avengers 6, Avengers... Whatever Avengers movie it is, he's the bad guy in. And I'm looking forward to that because I want more Jonathan Majors. He's fantastic. He's a great actor. Um, there's a... I'm not, we're not going to spoil anything. But there's a fight scene that has me excited for Creed 3. Because he's the bad guy in Creed 3. And there's a pretty cool fight scene in here. It's like, oh man, he's really ferocious. So, has me looking forward to Creed 3. So, thank you Marvel for that. Um, as for me rating, rating this movie, I give it two stars on Letterboxd. I am not a fan of this movie. I, it was boring. Um, I even fell asleep. And this is because it's the second time um, watching it. I watched it last night. I watched it with Malia today. And it just, it just doesn't do anything for me. I, I said in a written review earlier, I think Marvel has lost its magic. Um, they're not exciting anymore. And I don't need to ever see this movie again. But I have a, one more question for Malia. Do you want to see Guardians of the Galaxy? Yes. Okay. Now, I could disagree on that they lost their magic and that like they're not exciting anymore because it's Marvel and to me they're like exciting anyways because they're just... But like I feel like they just like have ran out of ideas with their characters. No. You there's I mean? There's 50 years of Marvel comics. Yes, but I, do, I think they're still exciting, though. Like, they're, like I still look forward to seeing the movies. Even if they're bad, I'm still, like, going to watch them again. Okay, I see what you're saying. Like, and guess what? If you want to see them, I was going to say, I'm done. I don't need to see Marvel movies. I can wait for them to hit Disney+. Plus. But since she says she wants to see Guardians of the Galaxy, guess what we're going to be doing? And on the Avenger movies come out. And on the all these new Marvel movies, we're going to see them. So I guess I can't say I'm done with Marvel movies because she loves Marvel, and I'm going to encourage her. And, like, uh, I always say... All film is subjective. What I like, someone might not like. And what I don't like, someone will like. So that's our thoughts on Ant-Man. Thank you for watching. Remember, have a great day.